Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels, and this is the first episode that Moonlight slash Sun Lights is on here. Uh, it, it was doing really well on the polls on both uh, singles and uh, tag. Just everybody wanted to see this deck, and uh, you know, that's that's totally fine. So we'll go ahead and play it up. So uh, it's going to probably take me a while. I know Sheep is one of the best. You know, you can just call this card. To, okay, you can either get a Moonlight Monster from the graph back to your hand, or you can add a Polly. That's great. I wanted to try this bitch out, even though I'm not sure how good she is. This 2 CG exclusive bitch. Uh, it's weird that she has, like, Lunar Light, and all the other ones have Moonlight. It's weird. And then I believe this, this is my Revival one, right? Yeah, the small one's my Revival one. So we'll go ahead and activate that Tanky, because there's Beast Warriors all up in this bitch. And uh, hopefully we'll get our plays on. This card is normal summon. You can target one Moonlight Monster in your graveyard except for her and summon it. Uh, once per turn, you can target one. Target spelling shop cards of some monsters. You can. Uh, up to the number of Moonlight other than you control and turn them to the hand. Okay. Well, uh. I already got a sheep, so I guess I'll get a bun. Like. Uh, sure. I mean, it's a thumbnail. I, I was like, oh, yeah. Because the, some of the thumbnails, like I said, are just. Either the deck's too new to really have a good thumbnail. Or, or it's just not great quality, you know? Like, some of them, I want to kind of put, like, uh, Selena or Serena, or whatever her freaking name is. I wanted to put her on the thumbnail, but I just couldn't find a good quality of her. Like, all of them, with with the Moonlight Monsters, all of them are just terrible quality, and they look like crap. So I was like, nah, screw it. And I found this nice image of a bunny, and I was like, sure, sure, I like bunnies. I like rabbits. <laughs> Alright, well, obviously, he's going to go ahead and pop my Reckless, I mean... Uh, I'd rather not chain right now. I'd, I'd rather just draw naturally than, you know, go all in with Reckless and then not and then not be able to draw for, with shit for the next upcoming turns. Like, that sounds fucking terrible. Alright, so he's, he's clearly playing just Light Swords. Alright, so I wanted to see this card. I, I saw this card and I was like, interesting, interesting. So, I guess the first thing I'll do is get me a Polly. I am running King of the Swamp before everybody's like, we're running King of the Swamp! I'm running King of the Swamp! You know, because generally you don't want to pitch your sheep for that. You don't want to do that, but... Yeah, so this card is normal summon. I could go ahead and target from my moonlight, so I can go ahead and normal summon this. Target, uh, uh, target sheep again. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get my sheepy on. Come back sheep, and then I can fuse with sheep. And then if this card is integrated as a fusion uh, material, uh, you can add one of the cards among the moonlight monsters in the graveyard, uh, or face up back to my extra deck my hand which is pretty good so i guess i'll go ahead and get bun back which is not bad not bad like i said maybe i'm not sure so i could target one monster control reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and if that target is used as a fusion material this turn it can be treated as the same name as the monster revealed so i guess it's supposed to help you bust out uh 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 leo easier and we all know busting out that leo that is some good stuff right there so you two fuse and two the cat dancer. I'm not gonna put the animations in because I'll probably get a hell of a copyright strike. So I just need more poly. Like, that's what it seems like. I just need some more poly action. So this card cannot be destroyed battle, which is great. But uh, I can get fucked up by that uh, by that uh, that Michael that he might be able to make. Oh, he's just gonna block my attack with uh, Gardner. So all right, that's fine. So he'll probably just go ahead and summon an XC next turn, and then probably make like a Castell or something or. Or Michael, or something, and handle me. So, as I said, uh, I just didn't get the Polly, so I really didn't. <laughs> and this is another Graveyard uh, Revival one, right? Once we turn, you can target one Moonlight Monster Guards, push on his target, it's effect negated, also cannot attack. Yeah. So, uh, starting off a little bit shaky, just like with Fluffles, it's like, you need Polly, you need more Polly, more Polly, more Polly, more Polly, and if you don't get all the Pollys, then you ain't doing shit. And that's exactly what's clearly happening right now. Oh, never mind. He's just going to double summon double fucking hat trucker and go into infinity uh, or Minerva and all that good shit because Yu Gi Oh is just so fucking crazy right now. Like, it's too much. Like, perform ages everywhere. Even when I thought I was doing against a respectable, you know, like, all right, we're going against classic life science. Like, nope, here come perform ages because perform ages are the splashable rank 4 engine. They are the splashable rank 4 engine. Oh, and then Trick Clown, too, like I said. You know, just damage, uh, damage juggler, trick clown, hat tricker, just splash them in. All, everybody in. Everybody in the pot. Because it's, it's just that you're running rank 4, splash in the engine. Fuck it, you know. Until it gets hit, play it. Break it. <laughs> that's just how it is. So, yep, go ahead and make that Castell. I got fucking nothing now. So, unless I draw another poly somehow, I, I really don't that much. Oh, and 
I guess I can only use the effect of what's her face once per turn. I guess I misread that. Uh, use this card to activate one of the effects. If this card is sent to a fusion material for a fusion summon, you can add one card from your hand, one among the moonlight monsters in the graveyard, and one face up. Oh, and one face up. Uh, Pendulum Monster from your deck, except for oh, Okay. My bad. I should have activated Tiger, then I would have been able to add. Well, that's what I get. Uh, uh, maybe I'll learn my lesson one of these days. Like I said, I'm still new to the deck. I make it, but I don't really play test it, so. What the fuck? If it's time to hunt them, pick damage your opponent, you can place one. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen this card <laughs> ever do that before. Like, ever, ever, ever. Yep, there's freaking Minerva. And once again, people are only playing this fucking... And he's not even putting a good version of the deck. Like, he was playing some trash, and he's still going to beat me. It's because it's the perform ages with Minerva. I mean, fuck it. Fuck it. I mean, that's game. Fuck it. Fucking... Because JD, here comes the JD sack along with the Minerva sack. Like, yay! Good game! Like I said, I'm having the same problem with Fluffles that I have... With this deck that I have with Fluffles. I don't get poly. You can't do shit. And that's one of the problems with the fusion mechanic. What makes it so fucking weak. You know, I got tuners out the ass, non-tuners are synchro, you know, I got like, C's are the easy, let's just slap to the same level, that's done, that doesn't take any fucking, uh, complication or skill, but fucking fusion, like, if I don't have poly, I ain't doing shit, and that's exactly what happened, like, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. get OTK'd, get fucking wrecked. <sighs> alright, let's get another duel in, bear. <sighs> alright, another duel, so, hopefully I'll be able to open up. Maybe I should have played that Reckless. <laughs> I said, maybe I should have played that Reckless. Alright, well. And I got my, uh... Moonlight uh, Reincarnation Dance, so... Not bad. So if you kill one of my monsters, I get two. Which is just a fine play, so... I might take it slow. And just set my monster, play, set this, kill my monster, I get plus two. And then maybe I could poly fusion tag it up. You know, I got the poly plays. I have them. It's just... I don't want to reveal my deck, despite... A easy get in of uh of that damage i'm just gonna take it slow i'll set the mst and then, like i said when i feel like i'm about to go off then i'll play it but for right now just take the duel slow and hopefully i'll get some use out of this i'm running two right now because i didn't want to number generate it but i didn't want to over it so two is like the right number to see i uh like i said i want to use this i feel like it might be a useful card especially for busting out that leo if i can bust out the leo then no complaints right <laughs> Alright, so, Galaxy Wizard, tribute yourself, and, uh, we're gonna get our Galaxy on, I guess. I kind of wonder if he's actually gonna kill monsters out oh, Galaxy Soldier. So, are we just gonna do Infinity Dot deck, or are you actually gonna see some Galaxy plays? That's, that's what I'm kind of wondering. But lately, it's been a lot of Infinity Dot deck. I mean, it's looking like some Galaxy plays, but I'm not sure. So, especially on Galaxy Soldier. Uh, search for Galaxy Knight, Galaxy Knight, summon, summon, oh no, get another Galaxy Soldier, which means that he probably has the Galaxy Knight in his hand already, so Galaxy Soldier, so, uh, search summon another Galaxy Soldier, pitch special again, then normal summon Galaxy Knight, summon that back, make Felgrin, make Infinity, like, I, I've tagged it with Tiago plenty of times, I know this deck's play, it's like, I know, or are you just gonna go into, uh, Pleiades, yeah, I know you're not just gonna leave it like that, thank you, we just gonna, uh, it looks like we're probably gonna send the Infinity Dot back play, so, once again, Seeing Galaxy Soldier, pitch that Galaxy Serpent, Special Summon, Nova Infinity, or Pleiades. Either or, I'm not really looking forward to anything that I'm going to receive, I'm getting on the receiving end. And then he quits. Alright, 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 thank you, thank you for entertaining me with your quittingness. Swear to God, people. Yeah. Uh, alright, another duel. Like I said, I, I really don't feel like sitting here and re-recording uh, four and five videos over and over and over. I really don't. <laughs> For the love of fucking God, I just want to get a decent recording and entertain you guys. And that, and that and it shows how piece of a shit game that Yu-Gi-Oh! is starting to turn out to be. Because I just can't get a decent duel and it's ridiculous. Alright, anyway, obviously going up against the Raid Raptors. Wow, and I got no monsters that I can... Well, I guess I could set you, but I'd rather have you in the Pendulum Scale. This card is to throw a battle of a card effect. You could target one new monster in your graveyard and just on that target. Mm. So I think I'll just go ahead and set... I want to reveal my deck. I don't want to do nothing right now because I'd really like to get this uh, in case in this reincarnation off. It's a pretty good card. So I'll go ahead and set my little card. This is my uh, my miracle fusion card. So I might be able to do something. I don't want to play my fusion stage either because that that will reveal my deck. So instead of deck thinning, I think I'll take it slow. Now the only thing that I hope and pray is that he won't be able to bust out that uh, 
that uh that ultimate falcon because if he busts out that ultimate falcon then i'm gonna get wrecked and i'm not about that life right now so go ahead nixie wow he actually summoned it in attack mode like who summons force tricks in attack mode like okay like you can have that i mean what i'm mad at like force tricks in fucking attack mode I guess he's gonna special summon a whole bunch and search a whole bunch. You know this deck has been Raid Raptors has been on the polls for fucking forever, but it never gets selected. Like I think that's kind of funny. Like all this time. Oh, yep. Looks like I'm gonna get Ultimate Falcon. Yep. Wow, you're actually gonna attack into me with your 100 attack monster. Like that's actually an inconvenience for me. Like because now my deck is gonna be reveal it and you can even kill my monster. Like wow. Oh, never mind, you're gonna just summon the last tricks, so. Now you're just gonna go ahead and main phase two, you know, the ultimate falcon, classic play, classic play, and I got nothing to stop you, so. Here comes ultimate falcon, people, here comes ultimate falcon. No, no, revolution falcon, skip force, and then here comes fucking, uh, 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 satellite cannon, so. Yep, so I might as well just go ahead and Activate everything that I got that I can play. Like fuck it. Do I want to play this right now? I kind of do. No, 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 no. I said fuck it. Go ahead, summon fucking satellite cannon. Wipe my fucking shit. Yep. And it looks like this duel will go great because I now literally have nothing. So thank you. Oh, now I get another Reckless. Oh, great. So, yep, yep, yep. I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. Great duel. Great duel. I said I can grab a Polly and then I can fuse these two into, into Dancer. Cat Dancer. What the fuck would that do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I can... No. Nothing. I might as well just go ahead and scoop it up. I got nothing. I got fucking wrecked. <sighs> You're back again. Alright, let's try this again. Like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just getting so fast and so sacky and so dirty that that Daily Duels is turning into Vitamin Y, where I'm literally just trying to get a decent duel while playing with not the best deck. And, you know, I'm just, I just want to I just want to bust out that Leo Dancer and just have fun with the Moonlight. So I wanted to play with this deck. Instead, I'm just getting fucking destroyed. Fucking just destroyed. Alright, so, Gem Knight, Blue Eyes, I guess. Whatever the fuck that is. Like, sure. So, now I gotta deal with Blue Eyes alternate. It's gonna be pretty difficult to, to get over. It really is. Like I said, that's one of the good things about Blue Eyes. They summon that 3,000 beaters. That's like, fuck. That's, that's no easy feat. No easy feat at all. Wow, Junk Synchron too, so... Junk Synchron, go ahead and summon back that Lazuli. Oh, okay. Some interesting plays we're seeing so far. Sync 4? Or Sync, sync to Star Eater. Sync 11. No, you're just gonna leave it like that. Oh, okay. Alright, so. Obviously, King of Swamp, give me that Polly. Obviously. Alright, so let's go ahead and see some plays. So I can go ahead and activate Polly, fuse you and one of you, and then that's Cat Dancer. Then how do I make a, a Panther Dancer? I need Cat Dancer plus one, moon, one Moonlight, so. Revive, and then the Miracle Fusion. You have to summon once per turn, you can speed and summon one Moonlight Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing the freeze materials listed on your side of the field. God, it's like, I, it's like I need more poly. Like, I can never have enough poly. Like, I want all the Moonlight Monsters. I was like, oh, God, I wish one that's like when it's sent to the graveyard, uh, I get a poly back to my hand. That would be great. But, no, none of them say that. <laughs> none of them say that. None of them fucking say that, so. So. Let's go ahead and fuse you two to you. Then I can go ahead and play Tiger, Tiger, summon it back, and I could tribute and I could attack all these monsters, but that really doesn't do much. It really doesn't do much. So, and he just quits. Wow, he just quits. 
Like, I, I didn't even really have much. Like, wow, I still can't get a good duel either quit or they fucking, or just sack the shit on me. Oh, be right back. Alright. I said, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. 15 minutes in, I might have to just delete this video and try to get a different duel in because this is getting ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. Just one duel. Just one, one, one decent duel. That's all I want. That's all I ask for. Just one decent duel. Because, God fucking damn it. I can't get. Please, don't quit. Don't sack me. Just, let's just duel. Let's just have a decent fucking duel. Because I, I, I'm tired of it, man. Like, literally, I think at least, at least freaking four times this week, I, I have re-recorded over and over. Just like what I used to do with Lime and Y. Because I can't get a decent duel in. <laughs> I mean, we're 15, 16 minutes into this video, and I haven't got a single duel in. I haven't been able to literally do anything. Because they either quit or they just they just sack the shit out of me. So, hopefully I might be able to do something, even though it seems like you know, whenever you see Cyber Dragons, it's just Infinity.deck, which would just be fucking great. That's totally what I want to see. So, unless I bust out that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, Leo, there's not much I can do. That's what I'm saying. This deck, it's just missing cards. It really is. It might have been a little bit too early for this deck to be under the rules. They I would love for them to have, like, the fluffle card where it's like, oh, if it's using the fusion material, get a poly back from your graver back to your hand. That would be great. Because then you could just refuse again. Like, perfect. Like, sheep is good. Don't get me. Black sheep is great, but. It doesn't do that. <laughs> it doesn't do what I want it to do, so. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So. Hopefully we'll have some place this turn. Hopefully. <laughs> I, said, I see some things that I could do. Some things. So this card is sent to as a fusion tail. You can add from, add to your hand. One card among the Moonlight Monster your graveyard and face up Pendra Monsters your extra deck back to your hand. Okay. So I have to have the extra deck to cards in the extra deck to add back, which is not terrible, not terrible at all. But like I said, I'm probably just gonna get Infinity. So fuck it, I might as well play as if uh, I'm doing something respectable and not Infinity dot deck, right? So just go ahead and play Deck Hanky. He's gonna go ahead and play his Network, probably finishing uh uh what his way? No, just Sun Dragon itself. Like all right. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, I can go ahead and get Rabbit, then Rabbit will be able to summon me back Sheep, because I'm pitch Sheep for a poly, so yeah, that's the correct play. So, I'm going to activate Sheep, pitch for poly, we have, we have ass tone cards, I'm running King of the Swamp, poly, Sheep, fucking Fusion say is like, give me my poly, like, I cannot duel, unless I have poly, Fusion Recovery, haven't seen none of that, like, come on, man, come on, fucking ridiculous, fucking ridiculous, I swear, so, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this, now I guess I can just use this effect and summon it back, so I don't have to use my normal summon, so, and activate my effect, summon back sheep, the effects are getting negated, which is fine. I already used the effects, and the effect resolves in the graveyard anyway. So, summon you back, and we'll just go ahead and poly it up. And we'll fuse. Uh, I guess we'll just go into her. Like I said, I don't have enough polys or fusion recoveries to do multi uh, fusion, which is one of the flaws with this deck. I knew this deck was kind of weak. So, of course, we'll fuse you, and I guess you, this card. I feel like you should try to battle my card back, especially when you're like, oh, you're pretty good. Then you're also pretty good as well. Mmm, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. What happens if, it's, if this card is destroyed, it just removed from the field. I'll just turn blah 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 when this card it's sent from the field of Great Break, especially summon blah 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 blah. If you do destroy. So it just says sent to the graveyard, so if I return it, the Cyber Dragon's like per pretty much perma banish, so that's not bad. So I'll go ahead and summon that camp. Cat Dancer. Go ahead and summon Rabbit. Activate Rabbit Effect. Summon back Cat. Then we'll just use Rabbit, return his uh, back row, and uh, the town. So, this card special summon, you could talk about that. My effects are negated. Oh, I guess not. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and activate cat, double my attack, so I'm gonna go up to 5,000, it's pretty good, not bad, not bad, I don't think I need a tribute to do that, 
The tribute on the moon, I'm extremely punch your opponent controls, blah blah blah. Oh, I'm double by, I guess, my original attack. Yeah, this is, yeah, original attack. Tribute. I'll put it during your main phase. I contribute one other moonlight monster. Each monster your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by a battle once per turn. Oh, not bad. So I'll go ahead and activate Bunny. Turn those back to your hand, please. Which means that this is like pretty much perma banished. It's not bad. So I just gotta hope and pray that he doesn't have a fucking honest and I can get go in. Which is not bad. And I think that might be game. So I'm gonna attack you twice, and as long as you don't have honest, you're just gonna get fucked up real good. Yep. So I think that might be a game. Did I actually get a decent duel? I could show off this next play. It's like, holy shit. Yep. Yeah, I did it. Not bad. Not bad. So that was that was that was a pretty good combo. I for someone who doesn't really know the deck that well, I pulled it off pretty well. We'll get another duel in. Be right back. <laughs> All right, another duel. That wasn't bad. I'll go second. That way I can get the damage in. All right, we got polys. We got fusion recoveries. We got plays, people. We got fucking plays. You also got a person with no fucking. Extra deck as well, so I'm probably gonna get sacked by something tacky, like probably like a burn deck or something. So it should be fun. Cause there is no reason why you do, you shouldn't have an extra deck unless you're doing something sacky, right? Right. So I'm not sure what I want to do right now. Hmm. I said I could I could possibly go off, but hmm. I think I might hold off, especially since it seems like he's not doing much. I'm gonna hold off for now. And I might go ahead and draw a Planet Reckless and then start going off next turn. But there's just no reason for me to go off right now if I can't pull off the best play, especially since it seems like he's using something sacky. Oh, it's just Monarchs. I was like, it's like it's either something sacky or Monarchs. I, I completely forgot about Monarchs, so that's great. So he'll probably just go ahead and go off with Monarchs, lock me out of my fucking, uh, my deck, and I won't be able to, uh, do shit. So, yeah, yeah, GG, GG. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll draw into an MST. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that mean, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. Just get one. Ugh. Monarchs. This deck is already starting to look like cancer. Everything in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is starting to look like cancer. My hair is starting to fall out because I need some fucking chemo to do to play some goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh. Like goddamn. So I was like, he's either Saki or something, uh, it's either something Saki or Monarchs. Never mind, it's both. <laughs> That's what they are, it's not get Saki, it's lucky that one's a fucking field spell. Like, great, so, as soon as you got controls attribute summon monster, I can't summon from my extra deck. Yeah, that, that's cool, that's cool, thank you, thank you. So I didn't, I mean, I didn't want to fucking play my fucking deck anyway, I didn't want to fuse. Fuck it, who cares, I didn't want to fuse. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said sick and tired of monarchs. The next time I see monarchs, it would be too soon. They haven't even come out in the TCG yet. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm glad I quit Yu-Gi-Oh in real life. Because I'm having this much trouble and just trying to entertain you guys on fucking daily duels each day. How the fuck am I supposed to duel in a tournament? Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> like I don't got the money to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh anyway. Really don't. So you're gonna destroy my shit, or you're gonna destroy your own shit? You can destroy one of my shits and one of your shits. That's fine. Uh, destroy my poly. We each draw a card. Yes. Or not? He destroyed my shit. Why not draw a card, right? <laughs> As I said, I'm hoping that with my draw phase and what I draw for reckless greed, I draw into one of my MSTs, pop his filled spell, and be able to come back into this duel. Even though he could just. Monarch Storm force me because it's not that I'm unaffected by card effects, I just can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. The 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 big bitch, so I'll probably still get fucked up. <laughs> but you know what? I think even summoning her is an accomplishment in itself. Right? So we'll just go ahead and play that tanky. Never mind, twin twister. Never mind. I I, I don't even get to do shit. <laughs> Never mind, how about I just don't get to do shit? That sounds fair. 
Oh, well, I might as well chain it, so no search off my tanky, but at least I get to draw two and possibly draw into them and see. I was trying to deck them with the tanky. And, you know, then do it. Nope, nope, I didn't get it. I didn't get the MST, so I lose. <laughs> yep, I didn't get something to destroy full spell, so I can't even something from a fucking extra deck, so I lose. Awesome. 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 Alright, get another duel. There I'm at. Let's try it again. And that's sad, because I probably had plenty of enough resources to go off on that play, too. But nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Monarchs locked me out of the duel. Locked me out of playing Yu Gi Oh! Fun. <laughs> Fun. So, like I said, I don't believe that I can use uh, uh, these as, as fusion material. I don't think so. Because they're not listed. I mean, I guess we'll find out, but. So we'll go ahead and of course get sheep. So I guess we'll find out, right? I read this right. Except add some to extra deck and the fusion material. So let me see if I fuck this up. Cause I have a feeling I'm gonna fuck this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you. I'll use you as a fusion material. You just sent some gray as a fusion material for a fusion of a monster. You can add to your hand one card among the uh, moonlight monsters in your graveyard and the face up. So, I don't know why this never goes off. Like, don't tell me that fucking Depro fucked this up, too. So, obviously I want to go into you. No, I can't. Okay. So, you're using summon you two into you, and then... You want to go off, Sheep? No, Sheep doesn't want to go off. Sheep, sheep apparently doesn't work here on Depro, so that's great. So, once again, Depro's just being a piece of shit. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's awesome. That's awesome. That sheep is that sheep is literally broken. One of the best effects of sheep, and it doesn't even fucking work on Death Pro. So I guess I'll be doing with this deck on Salvation or Wide Geo Pro until it gets fixed because Death Pro is a piece of shit. I said I could go ahead and summon back at a Polly and do her as well. I can go into uh, Panther. She's a gentleman that cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects once per turn during your main phase. You can't attack each monster your opponent controls. Uh, cannot be destroyed, and I still have to make a second attack. So, the... What the fuck are you counting down? What are you counting down for? Counting down for? Like, what the fuck are you counting down for? Like, really? Like, what, are you counting down until you quit? Like, I'm not, I, look, dude, my bar wasn't even halfway full. Like, you need to shut your bitch ass up if that's what you're doing. Like, oh my god, so fucking annoying. Alright, I want to do the death spot, so. Let's see what he pulls off. Like I said, generally death spots destroy my battle, but I can't be destroyed by battle, so. Go set up his pendulum scales. Sitting there fucking counting, like I have no idea what the fuck you're doing. So. Mm hmm. So, so it's good to see that, uh, that frickin'. That sheep is broken on here on, uh, on One Jet Pro. I mean, Dead Pro. Thank you. Uh, if I had a nickel for every single thing that's broken on Dead Pro, I would be a fucking billionaire. Billionaire, people. Fucking billionaire! Yeah. So, that's gonna be a difficult thing to handle. Can't be destroyed about one, so. I said, it seems kind of rude. Like, I don't know what you were counting for, but it seemed kind of rude. Like, it seemed like you were rushing me. So, maybe I should just find out what he was counting for. Yep. So, I can go ahead and summon back. One of my monsters. Then Fusion Summon into Panther Dancer. That can get another poly. I would, I would need one more monster to go into uh, what's her face to Leo. Because I think Leo's two, right? Yeah, Panther Dancer and then two Moonlight, and I would only have one at the time. Because it would be this. Unless I play this in the extra deck as well, then Fusion Summon that. Like, I can't Fusion Summon shit from my extra deck, so. I would have it if fucking sheep went off. Like, yeah. If sheep went off, then I would have it, but sheep didn't go off, so I don't have shit, so. Maybe I should just turn to defense mode and stall out for another turn. I said, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get double poly, since King of Swamp is only good for getting me poly. 
so I might as well deck then get me my, both my polys, and I, at least I won't draw into another poly and hopefully draw into another shit. Oh, never mind. My opponent's just gonna go ahead and play Vanity's Emptiness and then just stall me out. So, I can't do shit, he can't do shit, and we're just gonna kinda sit here, right? So that's cool. Cool story, bro. Fucking Vanities. If I had a fucking nickel for every time fucking I got, I lost a duel because of Vanities, I would have, I, I'd be a billionaire too, so. Cool story. So, story to do with Vanities, I can't do shit. He can't really do shit either, so I guess we're just gonna sit here until he plays something and makes vanities go away. Like, I don't know why you just didn't wait until, uh, until I activated Polly to vanities me. Like, you can't, I can't be destroyed at all, so we're just gonna kinda sit here and twiddle my thumbs until you get rid of your vanities. Because, <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. I said, as soon as that vanity goes away, I got the place. I can, I can bust her out. I can bust her out, it's just... I can't do anything until Vanities goes away, so. So, if you want to go ahead and activate something, make your Vanities go away. Send something to the graveyard. No. No, we're just going to sit here. You're attacking to me again. Like, once again, I can't be destroyed by battles. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing. So. I guess I'm going to have to speed up this duel. I'm going to have to come after your set monster with fucking Cat Dancer to get rid of your vanity so we can actually play this fucking duel. Holy shit. Did I finally did I kill your monster? Yeah, good. So your vanities is gone. Great, thank you. I, mean, I appreciate that you actually set the monster and allowed us to just play this game called Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> Alright. So, I can go ahead and activate Tiger. Go ahead and some back. It doesn't fucking matter, I guess, because my effects are negated anyway. And so it doesn't seem like he really has a response. Go ahead and Polly. Go ahead and go into Panther Dancer now. Never mind. Well, I can't be destroyed by card effects, so, yeah. <laughs> so, your number generator ain't gonna fuck with me, so you can go fuck yourself. And then I think I'll go ahead and fuse you and you with you. Yep. You and you with you. And we finally actually summoned her in this video, so. so you and you and you, summon you. Awesome. And, uh,. So I probably could have waited. Oh, and then he quits. So yay, I summoned her and then he quit. So fuck your number generator, fuck your bottomless, fuck your vanities. Can't touch this. There goes that Leo dancer and he squaps it up. Sitting there counting down being all rude, but I did it. So, <sighs> like I said, it just seems like out of this half an hour, daily duels is getting longer, but the, but the amount of duels and the quality that you get is getting smaller. Because... Either I freaking sit here and re-record three, four times, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, you know? Like, Daily Duel's supposed to hop on, record 20, 30 minutes, be done with it, here's your recording, here's your video for the day. Instead, I'm spending, like, three, two to three hours just trying to get some fucking quality, and I maybe get, like, maybe, like, two or three good duels out of a whole entire half an hour. It's just, it's not worth it. It's really not. It's really not. But I don't know. Maybe instead, I might have to start cutting bits and pieces, like, instead of just... I usually, usually I like to show everything, I like to show the wins, the losses, and everything, but instead I might have to actually just start editing my videos and start cutting it out where I only have good duels, only quality duels, and while I may sit here for like two hours getting quality duels, you might only see like, you know, a half an hour of what I did, just to make sure that you guys get the quality stuff, like, I don't know, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh is just, God, goodness sakes, <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't, not, not a single day do I regret getting rid of all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, none. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done, so, um, hopefully I'll be able to do more Leon Dancer, and so that play was pretty good, I, I, I liked it, and then even if shit hit the fan, I still had my light, my wolf, so even if he got rid of my Leo, I could just go, alright, wolf, banish my, uh, my, uh, Panther and two more, and then bam, here comes another, uh, Leo Dancer, because, no, why not? Anyway, thanks for watching.